Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-2379, also known as the Roach Motel. Now, this little bug trap might not seem like much at first, but trust me, it's a lot more than meets the eye. So buckle up, because we're diving into the world of Keto-class anomalies. Let's get started. Agents of the Foundation are stationed within meteorological agencies in the United States, Mexico, and El Salvador to keep an eye out for potential hurricanes or other severe weather conditions. If any such weather patterns occur, the agents are instructed to eliminate all suspected infestation locations by burning them. Samples for research are being kept at Site-19. When exposed to strong winds or similar weather conditions, SCP-2379 structures will break apart and release numerous spores. About 3% of these spores will survive and mature within 24 hours. Mature SCP-2379 instances are hollow, with floors and walls described as spongy by test subjects. Sometimes, rough and unconvincing growths resembling furniture like tables, chairs, and kitchen sets are produced. SCP-2379 instances are fully mobile and use small mycelium bundles to move. To attract inhabitants, SCP-2379 will release an aerosol that induces euphoria in exposed individuals. This gas has addictive properties and affects subjects' motor coordination and susceptibility to suggestion. Elderly individuals are more affected by this gas, with documented cases of it affecting individuals up to 4 kilometers away from the SCP-2379 infestation. Subjects living in SCP-2379 frequently try to persuade others to move in. Those who choose to live in affected buildings become more distrustful of outsiders and advocate for a self-sufficient lifestyle, such as growing their own food and making their own tools. When the population of an SCP-2379 settlement reaches around 200 residents, all buildings will uproot themselves and travel towards the largest nearby population center. Upon arrival, uninhabited SCP-2379 instances will release spores and infest nearby structures. These buildings will be broken down by fibrous fungus, and the materials used to construct more complex structures like hotels, motels, boarding homes, condominiums, and small businesses with residences. Eventually, the individual SCP-2379 instances will connect with each other and form a closed system. Once the SCP-2379 infestation has used all available construction materials, it will move towards the next largest urban population center and repeat the process. There is no known limit to the size that SCP-2379 infestations can reach. Police reports and social media related to mobile home facilities must be monitored for signs of SCP-2379's presence. Algorithms recognizing keywords frequently used to describe SCP-2379 infestations by civilians have been placed in major search engines to alert Foundation agents of possible infestation sites. These sites are to be dismantled and decontaminated by members of the Foundation. Advanced infestations of SCP-2379 must be destroyed via aerial incineration. Due to the ongoing presence of SCP-2379 infestations across multiple jurisdictions, agents operating in these areas must be prepared to enact basic containment of SCP-2379 and prepare them to be decontaminated. Civilians exposed to SCP-2379 are to be issued Class E amnestics and enrolled in substance abuse recovery programs under the guise of an opiate addiction. The development of SCP-2379 began in 1982 as a project by an independent group of mycologists in collaboration with, in order to create sustainable self-perpetuating housing out of fungus. Funding was provided by Prometheus Labs, which also provided fungal research materials and material support. In 1991, instances of SCP-2379 germinated and took the form of standalone research labs. After several fatalities, Prometheus Labs attempted to evacuate the facility. 
This was unsuccessful due to resistance from the staff members, and it is believed their behavior was influenced due to their long-term exposure to SCP-2379. Prometheus Labs personnel destroyed all infested materials via incineration and detained the resisting staff members. The Foundation became aware of Prometheus' connection to SCP-2379 after that company's collapse and is currently investigating the location of several of the associated researchers. It is believed that the current presence of SCP-2379 in the wild is due to an outside party obtaining samples of SCP-2379 after Prometheus Labs collapsed.